In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up and configure a GitHub repository that you can then use in Xcode as your remote repository to push and pull from the server. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go to GitHub. And I'm assuming that you already have an account set up. I'm going to tell it to use a new repository and I'm just going to give it a name here. For now, I'm just going to make it public and I'll give it a quick description. It's going to ask me if I want to add a git ignore file and I will for this. There's a couple of defaults that are good to use. We're going to tell it that we're going to use the Swift language and it's going to pre-configure the file to work nicely with Swift. So I'm going to now say create repository. So here's our new repository and what I need to do now is clone this down into Xcode and start working there. So I'm going to clone or download and I'm going to copy this here and copy the URL. And let's uh, get rid of this and we'll now go over to Xcode. And I'm going to check out an existing repository and to do that I'm going to put in and paste in the URL and go next. It's going to ask me for an, a local name and where I'm going to save it. That's fine for now. I'm just going to save it there. And as you can see, we've got an, an empty folder right now. So that's done and we're going to say finish. And now I'm going to say uh, to create a new project in Xcode. And I'm, for the sake of this, uh, for this video, I'm just going to create a single view application. We're not really going to do anything with it. I just want to show you how to get the files in there. So I'll just say new and I'll just say my sample project. Uh, let's make it Swift and let's just make it universal. And I'll just go next. I don't need to create the repository on the Mac. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to point it to the one that I just created here, which is basically an empty folder at the moment. And that's done. So I'm going to do command B to just do a quick build. And now if I do option or alt command C, this brings up the versioning editor for use with the source control. So I'm just going to say my initial project setup. Down here, I'm going to check to say push to the remote. I'm going to say origin master and commit the 10 files. It's going to ask for this will only happen the first time around. It'll ask for my username and password on GitHub. And I'll go OK. So now we won't have to do that again. That's going to be saved in here. So these have all been stored. So let's go now. Let's just get rid of Xcode for a second and go back to the web browser. And if I now look at my repository here and I refresh the view, you can see that my files are now appearing in X in sorry in GitHub. And if we just go in here, you can see there's the project files. So that's how you set up and start working with a GitHub repository in Xcode. 